but I've had I've had a couple coachings that were like poor quality, and I've had one good quality, and then this one definitely is another good quality one. And what makes it what you, you made can, it good? Um, the notes, the fact that you recorded it, that was good. You kind of realized what I mean. You helped me realize what mistakes that you could fix would be something more for like someone higher elo, and you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, there's small things I can fix, but like that would be something you'd be telling someone who's already low grandmasters or high masters, you know. And you're just pleasant to talk to one on one. Awesome, thank you, thank you. And please, if you have any more questions, like if I can help you with anything, you can obviously still message me on on Discord. I I'll be here to help. You're gonna see that there are like a lot of red flags in mid game here. So we need to talk about this. We're going to talk minimum 50 minutes of this game. It's a lot of mistakes. Good. It's very good. I will analyze this game like you are a master tier player. So you can see how a master tier will, will play this. Okay. Okay. Good. So you need to play to win. You play Draven against Seraphim and you have Blitzcrank. So there is no reason for you to not play super aggressive. You want to make sure you're, you're consistent with the decision making. Play around Blitz Hook. It's pretty free, straightforward. Let Wift come into you. Uh, but otherwise make big slow pushes into them. The win condition is play off the Blitz Hook make sure you have the two axes when he's about to hook and that's pretty much it in terms of the how can you die in this lane i mean it's seraphim liwana so let's be honest if you are diving or i don't see how you die in this lane and then grace yeah. seraphim setup is also with seraphim liwana setup they have some setup but they don't really have enough damage with just graves seraphim liwana so you gotta be careful of the of the graves really but not like it's not that urgent it's not that scary so this would be a very easy game so let's see if you execute this so what do i expect one i expect you to slow push a lot to zone to play off the blitzkrieg hook i expect you to always have two axes and get ready with the blitzkrieg i expect you to stay close to the blitzkrieg when he's about to get the hook you should go for it in terms of the recalls you should always recall around your items which is 1300 gold 11 or 1000 gold for the dirk or yeah. anything around that if they are really low into the tower and you can pressure you can always stay you play to pressure you play to win you play to accelerate what we don't want to see you playing safe you chilling you recalling when you can actually pressure more standing too back mid game you playing too much for farm you accelerate you have items you group you fight you win so uh there some of the tips that i gave you here like some of the steps you didn't do it well we will see which one perfect yeah. so let's go okay so in terms of the runes of course runes are also important they have tp with irie and they have grasp interesting with ignite yeah, no, I, no exhaust that, yeah. I mean on draven it's like super super good to get cleanse i mean majority of the pro players on draven they just get cleanse so i'm very happy that you got it uh they have ignite the blitzkrieg has ignite and aftershock so this is very good so the rune will matter a lot because seraphim with comet will be played differently compared to seraphim with guardians for example liwana with grasp will be played different compared to uh, i don't know liwana with uh, aftershock let's say yeah so let's see what we're gonna do so let's see if you just cover this one okay so you go with your teammates good you actually go as five people that's fine let me just check if you get, went um, so you play so for example here you play against a Nautilus Samira here you play with the Blitzkrieg you will play super aggressive in this lane you will play super aggressive in this lane in this lane you should go flat HP in this lane you should go flat HP in this lane Kaisa Bard it's kind of safe but they have trash so here it's a bit preference if you really want to go for pair level you could even though it's a trash so I would personally go for flat let's see let's see what you did okay you went flat that's I, fine let's see here. I, I, I always go flat because okay. uh jack Spectre was like yeah there's no reason to go yes. scaling because true that is like always better for lane and yes we care more about lane than like really anything else you're covering you need to stay as close as possible from the from the bliss here you could have like stack your queue a little bit you don't need to recall here so i stay with your teammates so far so good you try to ping a little bit here the blitz ring can go this is a kind of a bad pattern like you probably wanted to word here right yeah uh, usually you just need to play around the blitzkrieg because if you re realistically speaking your call is smart let's go here we hook and me back if we don't hit sure true but blitzkrieg has another plan so what are you gonna do go here put a word and then blitzkrieg is gonna hook someone and then how can you hit like over this wall yeah, and yeah, away? it's better to just lay off your teammates and this is called adapting to the chaos even though you think your okay. play is better try to adapt to because you can have a great play like your play or you can have a good play here if Blitzcrank yeah. just want, chooses the good play, I mean, what can you do? Force him to get, go for the great play? You can't. So it just it's better to just learn how to adapt with your teammates. And of course, we don't talk okay. about the word. Um, the word is usually important because you have Blitz. 
and he's gonna stay into the brush and we will need a word for the river and we both wasted the words we know that we're gonna slow push three waves we know that seraphim is garbage in the laney phase and you're just gonna zone forever so one word on the river at like 240 after you slow push three waves you crush it you could go cheat to recall after three waves or you could go for a word and keep pressuring whatever you prefer depending on what's happening there but i would not waste level one the word i think okay. here if this is like a super high challenger player he'll probably go sweeper uh, just because realistically speaking we both know what's going to happen in this lane phase it's not going to be fun they all cry it's it's going to be just it's going to be pain it's going to be suffering why it's because this yeah. thing is going to stay into the brush you're going to slow push and they can't do shit the only thing to, to relieve pressure is to just word this brush but if you get sweeper they can't do shit because of course if he puts the word blitzkrieg has to reposition itself back are you an ad carry main struggle to make an impact in your games? Is your damage output disappointingly low, leaving you feeling frustrated and powerless in the role you love? Introducing our specialized coaching program designed to supercharge your ADKD performance. Imagine a world where your damage, decision making and farming skills are 10 times better and the outcome of your games is no longer left to chance. Meet Chase, just like you, he was once stuck in the same position, facing low damage and inconsistency in his games. Let's see what happened after his coaching experience, from Diamond 4 to Master Tier. Wow! And here is Jordan and Brett, both transformed into formidable AD carry after the coaching session. These success stories aren't just isolated cases, they are a part of a community of over 3,243 players who benefited from the coaching program. If it worked for them, why not for you? Picture yourself as an unstoppable AD carry. It's not a dream, it's your potential with the coaching session. Don't wait any longer, visit Beside.com, book your coaching and become the ADKD the enemy team hates to play against. But if you go, you take the word GGBG, we can zone forever. Plus, they're gonna word here, you can take it as well. You can just play for the dive if your jungle wants to dive. So it's good value. Yes, you won't see this below Masters, but in Grandmaster Challenger, if you have a lane like this, would consider going sweeper. But the rule of thumb is don't waste your word level one. It's it's quite important. In this lane, it's not as important uh, unless you're thinking about the jungle and level three, which is important because that's the only way you die. Uh, but in general, the word the word keeping the word for the lane is 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 nice. I would unleash here because you can zone them so hard if you don't leash. So I would actually ask the jungle, hey man, is it okay if we don't leash? because we both know what's going to happen if the seraphim is human and what she will do you will leash here they will go they will push and you will be into the tower and blitzkrank pushed into the tower with draven it's not fun i mean you're not going to get bullied don't get me wrong you know what you want to lose the lane but you want to win the lane and you need to win the yeah. lane because you play draven so this is why if this is grandmaster i don't think a seraphim will ever leash i think she will push like a psycho and you won't be able to do much because she has q she has the passive with the q leona is going to hit the minions maybe she will eat the minions for the passive and then it's gg so yeah i wouldn't really do this also let me see you also have some bad patterns like i already see that uh, we haven't watched like maybe like super high low challenger draven player so here do you see Jack Spectra when he is leashing? He's never, he's never, he's always using the axes. Because you see, you have some some auto attacks without the axe. Like you want to stack as much yeah. as possible with the axe. This oh, is, okay. You will see the like dealer Z or like super high challenger Draven player. So even if even there. if you can even if you can get like a an auto attack in before the axe lands, it's better to just wait for the axe land. Um, if you do it good, you actually don't waste so much time. Let me just see if I can show you. So you don't actually waste because you just right when it's on top of you, the axe, you just hit it. So let me just show you. We used to be Draven 120, so... Welcome to the League of Dravens. Okay, good. This is like relatively important. Of course, let's see what we're going to do here. So you go in the laning phase, you need to get prior, you need to keep two axes and you need to stay with Blitzkrank. It's pretty straightforward. There is not really much you need to look up in this in this lane. So let's see what we're going to do. So you're going to hit the minions, you have two axes, hit the minions, two axes, hit the minions, two axes. Perfect. Okay, so here you're going to do a mistake. I'm going to give you the spoiler yet. Okay, I don't know if I have little. Okay, I have little tempo. Let's spawn this. Um, spawn this. This. That's how you do it. It's okay, so pretty fast to see. It. Oh, okay. Like right when you, you, you get it, you just hit it. Like you don't Welcome wait and then you hit it. Like you gotta be really fast and then you just go on the lane. Yeah. So that's like how usually like super high level challenger players do it. Okay, good. So let's see what mistake you're gonna do right now. So realistically speaking, I wanna see the body language of you. So we don't need to click back. This is fine. This is fine. I like the click around the blitzkrank and up. Good. 
we see the body language of the seraphim what should you be doing with the minions right here is not hit the minions at all oh push yeah yeah true let's see if you did no, not a good click here immediately going to the brush and he's going to immediately go into the brush because you're going to have so much pressure here i don't know if you saw my ruler okay. video yeah let me show you ruler versus caitlin uh no not this one but we're on the right path so if you play the lane properly when you have extra range it's unplayable they can't play the game and i'll show you what ruler oh yeah i've seen this one they literally walk out the bus auto walk back in the bus walk out of the bus yeah. auto walk back in the bus and, and this can't is what play you should be doing because look like he, they know they're like stronger so if you stay into the brush and you do this with blitz i mean the difference is that he's gonna hook and you're gonna just win but this is the pressure this is league of legends yeah. this is league of legends this is pressure compared to compared to what i call here <laughs> Uga Buga yeah. gameplay, like yeah. clicking back here and just chilling basically like look at your clicks like at least click here like at least click here in case he's gonna hook <laughs> you see this is like low elo clicking okay this is good you're staying around blitz this last hit is super poor you need to slow push this really slow so what kind of last hit do you need to do one hp last hit so the minion this oh i'm gonna last hit now because i can well you can but it's not optimal you need to let the minions hit each other for as long as yeah you i should just use q to keep q up yeah 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 because I, I didn't want to last hit that minion i was thinking about that i was like but i just want my q's up <laughs> exactly just get the two axes and then here i hope you're just gonna zone here i would ping on my way and i'll go into the brush very good just make sure you get the minions as well here you lost the axis which is kind of again it can happen uh -huh. it can happen then you stay into the brush okay sure not clean uh, you deserve your rank the way you played it you didn't play like platinum level didn't play like master level it was okay yeah just want, want to make sure you're, you're hitting the minions when you're out of the brush like here because if you hit the minion like this they will see you so you will not have really pressure because the pressure is if you stay in the brush and they don't know that you're there so if you hit the minion there you give them vision so this is fine you woke up very good I already don't like that you don't have professor and you don't have flashes. We both know how important it is if they don't have flashes, especially on the set of him, while we have blitz. Yeah, and let true. alone you're also playing your strong side here, which wow, three scams into both. That's that's Christmas. Holy shit. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So I would use professor or I would just time it. Like now it's two minutes thirty seven, so it's like seven thirty seven flash set of him. It's huge because you know Draven, you need to accelerate. So set of him not having flash is huge because second gang, blitz gang gang. So here again, this is what I call a grandmaster mistake. You're diamond, so it doesn't matter. But if you want to get better, it, it will be important, especially yeah. in these lanes, to to keep track of this. Okay, you're slow pushing. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. You stay around the blitz ring. I like it. Try to zone them. Super good. Keep slow pushing. And then we just go for a hook here. You could go for two points Q, or you can go for E. But since they have Leona, you actually decide to go for E. That's fine. No problem. He's actually going for the hook. You try to go for the a little bit of poke here. That's nice. Because the reason why I ask you here is uh, the following. And I already like know all of the mistakes that you're doing right here. So I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you like right now. You have two axes. He hooks. You should just look the Q. Because now you have no axes. And the reason why I have no axes is because you missed the click. And I'll show you right, right here. Look at this. Yeah. You can see that? You just you were so close to her. You see how close you are to her? And realistically mm -hmm. speaking, the Leona range is this range. So why are you not hitting her? Because if she E's you, you yeah. E. So it's like there is no threat. You should have reaction yeah. to, to, to react to her E. Your E also slows for 20% as far as I'm concerned. And then if she Q's you here, if she wants to Q, you just kite back. You don't give a shit really. Uh, and then if she E's you, you E instantly. And then if she's good, maybe she flashes on you, but then she won't have follow up. So you anyways have clan. So here, you shouldn't really be scared. And then you just lost your access because you were scared. So it's a bit of like mechanical. Yeah. Uh, this is the second time in four minutes when you lose your access. So it's a bit iffy. I don't know if it's good to play like five, six champions uh, at the same time. Yeah, Maybe true. you could could play like just focus. Because I think, I feel like from your kitties, you're pretty good on most of the champs. But I want you to be amazing on them. Like pretty good yeah. is not enough, you know. So that that's why I, I feel like it would be good to... Yeah. To just play uh i definitely i definitely planned on having a more strict pan pool when the item pain perfect and here yeah you just like this is always win if you have access like you you miss like 
minimum 100 damage there because you you missed the click plus the fact that you're not having two access here is just not good yeah that's not good and again the clicks are also pretty goofy here like this is good this is good i have been, yes, I have been scared of paraffin she's yeah. not gonna be able to do anything <laughs> she's really useless like this click is really bad you should just keep staying here and just into her face and if yeah. you want to go so new cleanse let alone the fact that you didn't really like you weren't committed enough like here i would just the moment here i just potion go go fast like they have no damage just there is no reason to be afraid so this was like very like you didn't know your limits you overestimated completely the set of him and if you stop and now you're slow pushing so this is super easy if the leona goes on you just win why how do i know that i mean yeah leona's low therapy zoom exactly um, exactly like you should use a potion and, and just stay into the wave uh, you should yeah. stay into the wave if she goes in you cleanse you should cleanse the q or the ignite depending on if she has ignite but we know that she doesn't have any ignite because she uses it on blitz so there is no reason for you to be afraid, let alone the fact that if you would have your E, it would be like a no-brainer here. So let's see what you're going to do. I think you're going to click back, right? Yeah, you're going to just be super yeah. scared. Yeah, but this is free. You want them to go in. You just want to force them to make mistakes. It's playing super safe. I would just stay here. If Leona is stupid enough to go in, I would actually just double in, go into her, chunk her. If she is IE, and then you chunk her even more. You play so safe here, and you play Draven. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. And now you play like you, you, you're so scared. Even even when Blitz is like kind of close to you, like now, he's kind of close to you. Like if you get engaged and this fight lasts for like five I seconds, Blitz back. is already. Yeah. yeah, exactly. He's playing super safe. Super, super yeah, safe. Yeah, it's, it's prob probably why games feel like some games I just stop and some games I don't because I think about. I don't think this game I thought about. The, the stuff and sometimes most of, sometimes i do it's like 50 50 sometimes i think about it and sometimes i don't interesting let's see how you play this right here have you played support before uh, a little bit not like too much but like i've played probably like 50 games out of the 10 years <laughs> maybe that's why maybe that's why because it will feel very natural for you to play a laney face like this if you played liwana in this situation for example or blitz Mm -hmm. let's see what you're gonna do here so yeah support is definitely pretty important support knowledge okay so let's see he hooks you wanna go in you're committed you cleanse good you w you w nice clicking okay mm. <laughs> pretty close pretty close pretty close Bit unlucky and then you just try to flash on her. Let's see if you can flash on her a little bit better. Yes, you can. Like you shouldn't really flash instantly. Like look at the Seraphim's abilities. She used everything. She used E, she used Q. So now there's no reason for you to like flash on her right now. Just keep walking on her. Keep walking like this, and then you flash here out of the tower range, hit her, and then you go like this. Okay. Or you can flash here out of the tower range and go like this if you think something is gonna happen here. Anything but not flash into the tower. Because now, if she's if she actually gets the the stun on you with the Q somehow, let's say they have heal or set up MW, you're gonna be in trouble. And then of course the the jungle kills you right here. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I mean, it's fine. You have a lot of items here, so this should still be extremely winnable. Okay, so you go to the Drake. Did you know that he's gonna do Drake here? Let's see. Yeah, I had a feeling. I don't know, coin flip feeling, and the wave is coming back to me, so it's like I wasn't losing too much if I was wrong. Okay, this is not bad. I mean, it's set up in Mendy 1, so you're just going right away there. And then you try to check, and then you go back to bot. Wave was coming into you, so this is all, all okay. Just be very careful with the wave, and be very careful in matchups where they can get caught on the river. That's all. See what you're going to do till he, from this point. Wait, did you buy a refillable potion? Yeah, okay. You had a refillable potion here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So... I want to see aggressivity, I want to see slow pushing, and I want to see you writing more to the Zach to dive bot. Because any any hook is like a kill. You're not really very... Yeah, you're not very communicating, uh, talk active with the, with the leashing, with the jungle, with the... I mean, you can also ping, but if you write to him, let's dive, please. It's actually... It's low risk, because you're not losing anything. Very high reward. If you kill Seraphim, you get so many plays, and you can accelerate. 
because he yeah. has no win condition. He's not going to gain mid until like, until Yasuo has level six, which is actually true now. And top lane he can't gank, so it's only Blitzkrank Draven he should always play around. And then here, look at Blitzkrank. He wants to go for the hook, so why are you not positioned right here? Because you can get these minions anyways right there. So you should pay attention to yeah. this. And then now he goes to the brush to ward. Do you see this? He goes to the tribush, but he might get pranked by Graves. So you should be right yeah. here in case he does it. I'm, I'm not going to give up the minions, but I will still position it here. Look at you. It's just super autopilot. Like this looks like yeah. Master Tier 3 AM Draven 15th <laughs> game kind of like Q. Like super autopilot. Yeah. And then of course he's there and if graves was there and he jumps you can actually win it if you have two axes graves doesn't have damage with seraphim like now he didn't exactly. even look there yeah. didn't even back him up like, yeah okay at least you're doing the slow push here i think he didn't expect her to to go in right yeah i didn't expect graves to be bought only because he the last time i saw him he like just got scuttled and was passing pop but like i said but before, what about the Leona, like though? we said before <laughs> Because Leona, you should always expect her, like, especially because she was, like, walking Yeah, up. if Leona goes, if Leona goes in right there, then she's stupid, unless the jungle's there, so I should have thought about that. Yeah, 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 you should always get ready, because if you, you should get ready for the E. Because if you, if you E the E of Leona, it's, like, impossible. Like, they can't do shit. Yeah. It's just GG. Okay, yeah, let's see what we're gonna do here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Charge is just going and then you end up dying. Okay. It's a pretty bad death though, because it's kind of like screws up your tempo the whole game right now. Yeah. And then here he just ulted. Let's see what he ult here. Okay, you just thought I was, that he's going to be. I was trying to, yeah, I was going to see maybe if he eased the graves at that right spot and the tower hits him, you know. But Very good, yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. That sounds very good. That sounds very applicable in next games. Okay, so let's see. 44 fun for Seraphim, you have 64, but he has, she has 3 kills, so he didn't win the lane uh, in this case, and you were Draven. You're definitely not in a good situation. Then you go for the Drake. Interesting, you had the feeling that he's gonna do it. Yeah. Interesting. A bit coin flip, though, but I mean, you're not really losing anything. You didn't want to push anyways, because Seraphim recalled a while ago, so he can't crush that wave. So you just checked, I mean, you maybe gonna lose like one, two minions, but it should be fine. So, super, like, the way you play, like now, Liwana has E, and you know she has E, just use your E as well. Even though you might think that she doesn't have range, just use it, because this next game, you're gonna play against good Liwana that they hit their E, and you're not actually using your E at all. But this is what I recommend you to, to try to be more strict with the pool, because these things okay. can just be very natural if, if you just play only yeah. one, two champs. I mean, two champs is a bit yeah. much, but three champs is, I think, perfect. Then you take this, then you back off, try to adapt with your teammates, and you stay with your teammate. It's very good. Then you go to the bot lane. Very nice. Very, very nice. A bit autopilot, you shouldn't really push this wave, like you should just let it be, because Zach is around you, and he showed you that he's around you, and this wave is slow pushing into you. You just wait, so this asset is needed. This last hit is needed. This last hit is not needed. Yeah. You see? So you could have just let the minions hit each other a little bit more. And here, don't hit, don't hit. You have Q. Zach is behind yeah. you. He wants to jump from here to here. So he he wants I was, to. I was, to... I, was trying, I was I was trying to clear that minion to maybe give him the the bush, opportunity to like, go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, that was my thought process with that. Okay. But okay. Sure. 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 If that's the case. Yeah, sure. I, I, mean, I can see that because he's he's got range on Z anyway. So I mean, even though he's only level five, so it's not too long. Alrighty, you played actually very bad. How many pay points you have? Is this the only account you have? No, no, I just I haven't. I, the, all those points are just recent, though. I haven't played EDC like in a year prior to this account. Let's see, let's see, let's so. see, let's see, let's see. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see how you play this here. So, yeah, there's no reason for me to hold now that I'm yeah. looking at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just run, yeah. just run forward. Just run forward. I e. Have just use your, if you really want to, just yeah. E. But you don't need to, you just need to auto-attack Q, and then you need to E after she flashes. Yeah. Like you play this super bad here. Super, super bad. Nice. Nice. Push the wave. Okay, let me think. Seraphim is dead. The Leona is dead. That's 35 seconds. 5 seconds with the dead timer and 30 seconds from here to here. 
let's see if we know where is Graves. Okay, he's top. Graves is top. So you're about to int here, I think. You're about to int here. Yeah. You're about I to int my here. recall. Oh no. How, how are you supposed to accelerate the game if you just get the kills? Yeah. Right? This is why you're not getting games when you're ahead. You have no influence because, like, look, a silver player will take a kill, will recall. A master player will take the kill, will take the wave, will take the plate, will take the recall. Huge difference. Yeah, that's true. I, and, I, I, was, I thought maybe since uh, they were already up and kind of going pretty fast with the whole death thing, and then uh, I already had a lot of gold, and I was trying to just recall and get back to the lane the same time they do. True, true. But you have to, because if they are right here, your recall is good. It's a tempo recall. But if they are right here, that's not a tempo recall. That's just yeah. like because look, six, five, four, three, two, one. They just respond. They are literally in the fountain, right? Yeah. Okay. So if they were around this place, absolutely, you're not gonna get the plate and then get stopped of the recall. That would be stupid. But no, if they are yeah. here, always consider getting plates. If of course you're not killable by the enemy jungle, that's another variable. If they are in yeah. the purple, same thing. If they are in the blue, usually they can stop your recall, so you shouldn't really do that. But you need to kind of think about this in the game. You need to track them. 30 seconds, it takes from fountain to the last tower. And then I now just, it takes around don't, 20 don't, seconds. Don't look at what I type. <laughs> yes, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, like I, don't, I don't think I can see anyways, because the quality is just 720. But yeah. Okay. And then here he just gets... No, I, I type not worth... <laughs> Yes, 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 okay. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. So this is a pattern, not uh Okay, I have to write that. I have to write that. So sure, there were a lot of things about wave management, like last hitting better, positioning with Blitzcrank better, hovering him when he gets better, but this is like not accelerating by getting as much as possible after getting kills is a red flag for sure. But let's see what we're going to do here. And then you're not, uh, yeah, the problem with the E as well with the Liwana was kind of iffy. Five dollars! If you have problems improving and getting better in the game faster, but you cannot afford booking coaching on my Patreon, you can access more than 627 VOD reviews, premium videos about how to wave management, mid game macro, and tire lists that will show you the best champions to climb and to improve for your ELO. And these are not on YouTube, this is only on Patreon, they're exclusive. Moreover, you can participate in the free coaching waiting list to get a premium VOD review. I'm giving away two free VOD reviews every single week. All what you need to do is simply Simple two step process. Subscribe to my Patreon and share your OPGG, and voila, you are on the waiting list. You're gonna get a personalized vote review for any game in your match history. For just $5, you get not only the free vote review, but a whole bunch of exclusive benefits that will supercharge your gaming experience. It's a small investment for a big return. And it's just $5, it's no brainer, right? But here is the deal, you've got to act quickly. The waiting list is already filling up fast. 55 people already subscribed to the Patreon and there are 6 people that they already are on board, they are on the waiting list. And more are joining every moment. Now, do you want to secure your spot for a free VOD review? Go ahead on my Patreon and reserve it right now.